Imagine a sea almost the size of Gujarat simply vanishing within a single lifetime. That is the story of the Aral Sea, spread across Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. It was one of the world's fourth largest lake. For centuries, it was a lifeline. Its waters moderated the harsh Central Asian climate, supported a rich fishing industry, and sustained towns along its shores. But today, much of that blue expanse has turned into a salty desert, with rusting fishing boats stranded miles away from the waterline. So what happened? The tragedy of the Aral Sea began in the 1960s when the Soviet Union launched one of the most ambitious irrigation projects in history. Moscow wanted to transform the dry steppes of Central Asia into cotton fields. Cotton they called white gold. To feed this dream, water from the two great rivers, the Amudarya and the Sirdarya, was diverted into canals before it could reach the sea. The result was ecological collapse. With its inflow cut off, the Aral Sea began shrinking dramatically. By the 1980s, it had already lost half of its surface area. The exposed seabed, covered with salt and pesticide residues, turned into a source of toxic dust storms. These storms poisoned farmland, contaminated drinking water and blew chemicals across hundreds of kilometres. The human cost was immense. Entire fishing communities lost their livelihood. Health problems from respiratory illness to cancers and birth defects rose sharply. What had once been a fertile region became one of the most polluted landscapes on Earth. By the early 2000s, satellite images confirmed what locals had long witnessed. The Aral Sea had split into smaller, shrinking water bodies. Most of the southern basin in Uzbekistan has now turned into what is called the Aralkam Desert. Only in Kazakhstan has a part of the sea been partially revived, thanks to projects like the Kok Aral Dam, which restored some fisheries and brought water back to nearby towns. But the truth is stark. Most of the Aral Sea is gone for good. It did not vanish because of natural climate change, but because of human decisions. Short-sighted planning that sacrificed long-term sustainability for short-term gains. The disappearance of the Aral Sea is not just a Central Asian story, it's a warning to the world. When we push nature beyond its limits, entire ecosystems and the human societies built around them can collapse within a generation.